Do you have the blues? Yes? No? Maybe? Well, I believe we all have fallen victim to the feeling of depression and tiredness on Monday mornings. Mondays can be brutal, especially after an amazing weekend. The thought of having to wake up early in order to beat the morning traffic, then spend your entire day tied up at a desk can be daunting, especially if you work in a rigid office setting. Just like George, who's a 25-year-old customer care agent at a sales company. He struggles to get up every Monday morning, often hitting the snooze button several times. Time and time again, he thinks of calling in sick to work because his soft bed and warm comfy blankets have adopted him as one of their own. But when he finally does get up, he's sluggish about getting to work and often gets there half awake. He especially hates Mondays because he feels that he has no passion for his job. Like many of us, George relishes his weekends, which he mostly spends hanging out with the boys, his close mates, or visiting family. However, Monday means that he has to leave the fun behind and go back to his job. At work, George and his colleagues will often have conversations with these statements. I hate Mondays. I can't believe the weekend is over. Dude, the weekend was so lit. I can't wait for Friday already. Sometimes he and his friends will share funny memes just to pass time. If you can relate to these types of conversations, then you're probably no different than George. Of course, just like George, you may not be in a position to quit your job, but you can find ways to cope with Monday blues and enjoy your work week. Monday blues are described as a set of negative emotions that people experience at the beginning of a work week. They're a combination of feelings of depression, tiredness, and general negativity towards work. Monday blues are so common among the 9 to 5, Monday to Friday routine workers, it's become a cultural phenomenon. While it is easy to shrug off these constant feelings of tiredness and hopelessness, Monday blues are actually a sign that you may be unhappy. Here are 8 tips that will help you shake off those Monday blues. Number 1. Identify your problem. If you're struggling with Monday blues week in and week out, then you need to ask yourself, what's wrong? You need to make a list of all the things that bring you down at your workplace. Perhaps it's a coworker that's always using your computer. Maybe it's a boss who keeps shouting at you. Maybe you don't feel challenged in your workplace. Or maybe you're tired of getting your paycheck late every month. Whatever your reasons may be, write them down. Understanding what sets you in a bad mood can help you find active solutions. It'll also help you identify problems you can actually solve and those that are beyond your control. Should you quit your job? Should you ask your coworker to respect your space? Or maybe you have too many activities planned for Monday morning, which brings us to the next tip. Number two, prepare for Monday on Friday. Having several dreadful tasks to handle on a Monday will lower your spirits. Instead of piling work from the previous week, try dealing with difficult tasks before breaking for the weekend. This will reduce the anxiety of dealing with too much work in one morning. However, if you can't escape the workload, then eat the frog. This simply means that you should set your mind to clearing the most difficult tasks first and deal with the simpler tasks later in the day. Make that dreadful phone call you've been postponing and stop feeling like there's a black cloud above you. Hand in your report on time to avoid getting into trouble with your boss. Pitch your idea to the boss early in the morning and kickstart your day with a win. More importantly, make sure you organize your tasks. Have a list of all your tasks and allocate time to perform each task. This will help you avoid being overwhelmed by thinking about too many activities at the same time. It'll also help you allocate adequate time to your most difficult tasks to avoid handing in incomplete or unsatisfactory work to your boss. Lastly, prepare ahead. Do you have a meeting with your team on Monday? Then prepare the slides and presentation on Friday. Are you set to meet a client on Monday for brunch? Try reading up and preparing notes on Sunday to reduce your stress levels on Monday morning. Preparation will go a long way in helping you cope with Monday blues. Number 3. Make a list of the things you look forward to. It's easy to dread Monday if you're constantly thinking about the difficult parts of it. So why not try making a list of all the enjoyable things you look forward to? Maybe you have an opportunity to pitch an idea to your boss during Monday morning meetings. Perhaps you have a team retreat on Friday, or maybe the coffee at the workplace is free and good. Thinking about enjoyable activities at your workplace on a Sunday will set you in mood and help you overcome your Monday blues. Go ahead and leave a comment on one thing you genuinely enjoy and look forward to at work. Number 4. Take the weekend off. All work and no play makes Jack a very dull boy. Taking the weekend off to unwind and stay away from work will improve your attitude towards work. Maybe you take moments to check an email over the weekend to prepare for a meeting. Or perhaps you've fallen into the habit of sneaking into the office during the weekend to get some paperwork done. However, these small habits will leave you frustrated in the long run 
because you're always carrying your Monday burdens into the weekend. Take the weekend off and leave your work problems at work. Number 5. Get enough sleep and wake up early. It's highly likely that you'll feel depressed on a Monday morning when running on a few hours of sleep. Try turning in early on Sunday, and preferably avoid any alcoholic drinking that may slow you down on Monday. Resist the temptation to binge your favorite series or pick up the game pad to beat your previous high score. Get up early on Monday morning. It may seem counterintuitive, but creating a bit of me time before work will put you in a good mood. Have a great breakfast, go for a morning run, or work out. Do whatever puts you in the mood to go out and succeed throughout the week. Number 6. Dress for success. What you wear has a significant impact on your mood. Try wearing your new outfit, or be creative with your style. Try on those new shoes, get a haircut, and buy a classy watch. If you look good, you'll feel good. Facing your Monday morning with confidence will chase away your Monday blues, and you'll enjoy a few compliments from your colleagues. Talk about a Monday morning bonus! Number 7. Practice Positivity Start off your week with a feeling of gratitude and an appreciation for the things you enjoy in life. Pump yourself up by listening to motivational speeches or music in the morning to set you in a good mood. Try having a meditation session before speaking to anyone at work. Once in the office, try not to be the constant complainer and shrug off the grumpiness. Remember that misery loves company. Your colleagues will try and drag you into Monday morning complaints and you'll have to avoid saying things like, why is the weekend so short? Or, I hate Mondays. It's difficult, but not impossible. Try and avoid your phone in the morning and skip the numerous We Hate Monday conversations going on on Twitter and Instagram, because Monday blues are highly infectious. Take an initiative to minimize the negativity around yourself, not just by avoiding negative people, but by avoiding disorganization in your environment. Arrange everything on your desk on Friday to declutter your working space. Make a weekly plan on Sunday and review it to prepare for the week ahead. Buy yourself some chocolate or a nice watch to keep the positivity going. You can also encourage positivity around you to create a better Monday morning mood. Walk up to Sheila at the front office and tell her her hair looks good. Say good morning to everyone and smile. Share the compliments generously and maybe your colleagues will stop being so dull. You can also buy some candy and pass it around. Whatever you do, remember to keep the positivity going. Number 8. Stop living for the weekend. Lastly, remember, you're likely to experience the Monday blues if your life and enjoyment is centered around your weekends. Stop living for the weekend and enjoy the week too, because it's the longest period after all. Try to fit in some enjoyable plans to help you unwind during the week. Have a movie night with your friends on Tuesdays or go to a new restaurant on Thursdays. Maybe you don't have time to go out, but who says you can't listen to a podcast on your way home? Break the usual Friday night routine and slip in some enjoyment during the week. In conclusion, we all experience Monday blues sometimes. However, by practicing some or all of the tips I've mentioned today, you're likely to find your Mondays much more bearable. If you have tried some of the tips, share your experience. What works for you? What keeps you going even when the blues are knocking hard on your door on Monday? Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.